Hello. Today we're going to look at a situation where you have a chapter heading that has multiple lines. So in this case we have chapter 3 and then the space and then the El, El Migo line. That's all part of the chapter 3 heading. But over on the left in the navigation pane and in our table of contents we just want one line otherwise it's going to be a mess. So let's see what happens first when we select this and we just say this is going to be a heading. You can see on the left that it makes multiple lines out of it. So that's a real hassle when you're trying to work in your navigation pane. And then also, if you look at this table of contents, see how it says chapter one, and then another line, divine providence, and then chapter two, and then another line, the awareness, that also becomes a royal pain. So if I regenerate it, you can see that I had fixed chapter one and two already, but chapter three that we just did is in multiple lines. And it's because of those hard returns between the chapter three and the title. So see those hard returns there shown by the pilk rows. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to put a soft return. So for a soft return, you use shift enter. Shift enter, you can see it makes this little arrowy thing instead. And that still gives you space, but it's not a space that's going to show up in the navigation pane or table of contents. So you can see over in the table of contents, now this is just on one line. So it's chapter three, and then it goes right into the next line of the heading without giving you a space. And if we go back up to the table of contents again and we regenerate this with the update table, you can see it's now on one line. So this is the way to create a one line table of contents is by having the entries broken up by a soft return, the shift enter key, rather than a hard return. And if you want more, you can put another one and see it's still not showing up on the navigation pane. So those soft returns are just ignored in terms of creating your navigation systems, but they are visually pretty if you want to have some spacing in between your entries and uh, have it set out like that. So that is the technique for making your heading area work differently than your table of content area. So ask with any questions.